shepherd's pie in the oven tonight. Yummy! It's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks, and boy, we're going to have something good tonight, shepherd's pie. Today, I'm going to start out by peeling my potatoes and getting them to boiling because you're going to make a lot of cream potatoes. And when I make potatoes, what I do is I peel them all, and I wash them after I peel them, okay? So, we're going to peel all of these potatoes. You're going to peel five-pound bag of regular russet potatoes. Now, I'm just using a paring knife like Mama did. That's how I like to peel potatoes. I'm faster at it than if I use a paring knife. But you use whatever makes you feel comfortable. I also slice them really thin so that they get done because you want your potatoes to be nice and creamy with no lumps. So make sure you um, slice them thin. So I'm mixing them off and now I'm going to chop them up, get them started, and on the stove, if you put a lid on them, they'll get uh, to boiling quicker. That way, supper will be on its way. Y'all can slice them thin like this if you want to, or you can, Mama always did it this way. She sliced it twice into quarters and then she sliced it. I'm going to get this on the stove and get it started on high. Go put a lid on it so it'll get done, um, so it'll start up quicker. This was the smallest onion I had, so we'll use it. The more the merrier anyway. Now, if for some reason you're feeding this to kids, they probably won't eat it anyway because it's got mixed vegetables in it. Uh, but, if you're trying to disguise the onion, use onion powder. Works really good. So, you can always do that. This is not, um, I'm using my plastic cutting board today. And it's loud. Chris just brought them back from the house. And y'all know I got these beautiful cutting boards. But I just thought for a change I'd use some plastic. Because when I use my wood cutting boards, the onion does seep down in there. And I really need to put another coating. And me and Chris will video that when we do it. Because we really need to season those boards again. And that way these scents and juices and stuff don't get down in the wood as much. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding some ground beef to this. You're going to use a pound and a half of chuck. And of course, if you've got beef, use it. Just drain it good. You should drain it anyway. So, my shepherd's pie is pretty much I guess the southern version because I just use the spices that we all have in our cabinet already, which makes it so much more simple to cook. So we're gonna get the onion in here with our beef. And I'm gonna brown this before I add my spices. So, uh, these are my skins from my creamed potatoes today for my shepherd's pie. I'm putting them in here. I rinsed them really good. Now you're going to put them in here and cover them in water and that way they won't turn brown and get them in the refrigerator. And then tomorrow, if you have a sandwich or hamburgers or hot dogs or whatever, even if it's just a snack, you can get these out, let them dry a little bit and then coat them with some olive oil, throw them in the air fryer or in your oven and make some potato skins for the kids or for the adults for snack. Now remember, we have so many questions about our kitchen items and our cookbooks 
Remember, you'll find all those answers if you just go to our website at www.coloredvalleycooks.com. You're going to find cutting boards and utensils and cookware and even all the way down to what I like to, what lotion I like to use, beauty items too. All right, we've drained our beef. And so now we're going to add a teaspoon of Weber Steak and Chop. It's just one of my favorite things to cook with. We're going to put in a few squirts of Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to put a, table, a teaspoon worth. And you can always make this more spicy if you've got a family that likes it. But where I grew up, we didn't eat a whole lot of stuff that was too spicy. We're going to put in half a cup of brown gravy mix. We're going to open two cans of vegetables. We're going to drain one can into our beef mixture to help bind that gravy mix in with the beef. That way we get all of the vitamins that were packed in these vegetables and not just drain them down the sink. And you're just going to mix this up good. This is going to be our beef mixture that goes in the middle of our shepherd's pie. So simple and easy, y'all. And your family and even the little ones is going to love it because everybody loves green potatoes. It has a lot of flavor in it. Um, you just mix it up with a little bit of liquid like that. Just mix it good. All right, it's time to cream the potatoes. You want them to be fork tender. What I mean by that, they should just break to pieces just like these are doing. Now we're gonna get them over here and make some really good cream potatoes. I'm gonna drain them. I'm gonna use this over here because it just does a great job. Um, we love this thing. And then we're going to mix them up right here in the sink. You mix them in the sink, then you don't have to worry about splattering everything. It's what Mama always did. So we're going to put in a half stick of butter, three quarters teaspoon of black pepper. This is a little quarter teaspoon, so it's three of these. A whole teaspoon of salt. Quarter cup sour cream. Get that butter down in there. and spray this iron skillet. This is an iron skillet. I think shepherd's pie is really pretty in an iron skillet. You're going to put half of your potatoes in it. bottom of the dish, add your drained vegetables around the outside edge and add your beef in the center and then top it with the rest of the potatoes around the edges. 
So what I like to do is take my veggies and sprinkle them around the outside. And you're gonna put your meat on the inside. I thought the skillet might be too big, but no, it's not. This is our three inch skillet. If you don't have one, they're wonderful. They're a 10, it's a 10 inch, three inch high skillet. So there's our beef in the middle. And now you're gonna take the rest of your potatoes and put around the edge. And no, I don't uh, season the vegetables because the meat has got plenty of seasoning and so does the potatoes. And when you dip it and serve it, of course, it all kind of blends together. And um, it's just really good. You're gonna bake this in the oven until it's nice and bubbly. This is probably gonna need to be in the oven if you want it to get really pretty. I bake it at 400. If you want it to get really pretty and toasty, it's probably going to be in there at least 50 minutes. All right, we're going to bake this, like I said, for about 50 minutes in this oven, 400 degrees. If you got convection, that's even better. Turn it on so it'll get nice and toasty. Okay, I'm going to dip me out some. I'm going to get this out of the oven. You know, it looks so good. Nice and toasty and everything. Like I like it. on the plate. Check some beef. Delish. So you got your veggies and your potatoes and your beef all in one dish. That's some good eat, y'all.